Hello everybody, this is Lauren of Plan Moosh Plan. Welcome back to another plan with me, except this week it's actually a double plan with me, which is really exciting. The first spread that I'm showing you right now is from Two Little Bees. This is the week of St. Patrick's Day. So what I decided to do here was combine um, my spring holidays spreads. So that's St. Patrick's Day. Um, so that's the kit I'm showing you right here. And then um, Easter. So that Easter spread is going to be from Crafts by Towie. And um, yeah, I'm combining them both in this one single, single video just because, I don't know, it's something I kind of like to do every once in a while when I am behind on posting plan with me's, which by the way is always, but <laughs> I kind of like to stay like maybe within a month is ideal for me of like being behind on posting my memory spreads. Um, so that's kind of where I'm comfortable. And right now I'm like, ah, spreads from February and March and April, like all over the place where I've kind um, I've got off track, I think with posting, like I tend to prefer to do like post my spreads chronologically and right now I've just posted spreads from February, March, April, so or maybe not April, I don't know. Anyways, I am just combining these two because it makes sense in my brain to to combine them into one video. Um so it's just kind of very spring holiday themed. I've done this before, like with my I think I did one for my honeymoon. I posted two of those spreads in one um, video and I've done a couple of them so if you're interested you can go to my channel and check out um, those but okay for this this video I'm going to pull some questions from my Instagram I had asked for questions a couple months ago I always do this I ask for questions and then I never answer them all because I tend to talk too much <laughs> in these videos um, but I did I do have some so I think I'm gonna answer some of these um okay so uh going to my instagram kitty kitty 306 asked me a few questions here um the first one she says do you ever think you'll film a sticker organization slash collection video absolutely this is on my to-do list this has been on my to-do list since like i don't even know december maybe um there's one thing that i'm missing from the container store <laughs> that's bothering me that I need to get and exchange what I have now and then I am planning on doing it but I do have um what I think is a really great organization system for my stickers if you watch my videos my hauls you know I have a ton of them and I've been doing this for like six years so um I am so happy to share I want to share with you what I have um, it's super functional it's super efficient my planner desk doesn't have like any the core on it really it's all about function and efficiency and organization for me so someday that is coming um the second question she asked is she says your nails they're always so perfect do you do them yourself if so how thank you very much that's very kind yes for the most part I do them myself I get a manicure maybe once or twice a year it kind of depends sometimes I get in the mood but for the most part yeah when you see my planner videos I am doing them myself um I do like to get pedicures though <laughs> um, anyways, I, I filmed videos on this before. Um, you can go to my Instagram stories, um, the highlights on my Instagram profile, and there's a nails, like a how-to nails section where I have showed um, some of the products that I use. I show how I like cut my nails specifically to get the shape that I prefer um, and some of my favorite polishes. I also always have all of my favorite nail polishes linked in my Amazon store. Um, so if you go to like my description and then there's a, I, there's like an Amazon storefront where I can link all my favorite products. Um, I have all my favorite nail polishes there, which are mostly just like nudes and um, orangey reds. Um, I will say my secret, my like number one secret for when I do my nails with um, nudes is that I use um, the Butter London Nail Foundation. So if you're ever looking at my nails and you're like, oh, she's got nude nails, but they don't look opaque, but they also don't look streaky. My secret is that, the Butter London Nail Foundation. So check out my um, in my Amazon storefront for that. Okay, so I'm going to jump back into the spread here now. Um, I put down the base pretty, you know, standard base kind of for me. Um, I used a Glitter Mama script for March up top. And then um, I liked what I did here with the clipboard at the, you can't see it actually right now, but anyways, um, I also played a little bit around with the deco at the bottom. Not only was this um, 
St. Patrick's Day this week, but it was also the first week of spring and there was a Hello Spring sticker in the kit. I'm sure that was intentional. So I kind of played around with some florals and a girl, fashion girl from the kit at the bottom too. Okay, um, so on to, um, let's see, on to the day by day. I marked a meeting that I had this this week. Um, I think I marked my meetings a couple of different ways. Oh, you know what? I did that because I wanted to use the scallops from the kit and there was only three in this format of the kit. So I pulled in the clipboard and some deco um, to mark that. If, I'll talk more about the deco that I used later on. I also marked the call that I had with my coworker. She had kind of just was transitioning back from maternity leave at, at this point um, or from coming back to it. And so we were on the phone for just a couple hours, like A, catching up and B, she was just like, you know, starting to like actually take on some work at this point here. So we were just talking through some stuff. I marked finishing my laundry with a Crafts by Towie script. And then I marked walking to Nordstrom. Stephen and I walked to Nordstrom this day and I did a little bit of shopping. I bought some stuff from Le Labo, which is like my favorite home fragrance. Well, just like my favorite fragrance brand, point blank period. I'm obsessed. And of course I dragged poor Stephen along with me for that. <laughs> um, so, okay. On to Tuesday. Tuesday was actually an exciting day for me. Um, I have, um, for my job, I've been fully remote for like probably a year actually at this point. It was probably exactly a year. I think it was March 16th or something was my last day in the office um, or my first day remote maybe. Anyways, I've been fully remote and um, normally I work in an office, but I do get the opportunity to, to travel um, for my job too kind of if I choose. Um, so it's not, I mean, a little bit of travel is required, but I within reason, I can kind of pick and choose when I want to travel, where I go, um, all over kind of like the US and Canada if I wanted to. Um, and this was the first day that there was an opportunity for me to travel kind of nearby, so by car close to home. And um, I took it and I went and, um, you know, was on was traveling for work this day basically. So that was really exciting <laughs> for me. Um, I marked it with a car and some, uh, the deco was from Sadie stickers, that kind of hanging banners. And then the bow is from the pretty pink co the car is from white deer stationery. I obviously got up early this day to do that. So I marked that with the white deer stationery, um, cup. And then the bow is from, I think that one's from the giving girl, if I'm not mistaken. And then how I marked meetings here was how I marked it for the, like most of the week. So scalps from the kit, the um, swish little, I can never remember what those are called, it's from Crafts by Towie, clipboards from White Deer Stationery, and then I cut up some florals. Um, when I got home, I was so knocked from driving and then from, you know, just, it was just, it's so different than like working from home. <laughs> so I took a nap on the couch for a couple hours. Well, I don't think I was on the couch for a couple hours. I don't think I napped for a couple hours. Um, and then I used some deco down at the bottom, just some florals to kind of finish off the day. That kind of floral looking scalloped slash mandala shaped thing is from Planning Like a Pro. And then the other floral was from the kit. All right, um, on to Wednesday. This was actually St. Patrick's Day. So I marked that with, I think that box. Oh, where's that fancy box from? Maybe Alyssa's Craft Shop? I don't know. I can't can't remember. And then some deco from the kit and a art box stickers um, holiday script. She's no longer in business, which I always talk about how sad I am to lose those holiday scripts. There was recently a whole thing where someone actually copied, like photograph copied exactly her scripts and tried to sell them and play it off like that person <laughs> had um, done them themselves, had let hand lettered them and practiced them themselves. Absolutely not. It was her work. So if you ever do see those, those are hand lettered by her. No one can replicate that. Um, so just keep an eye out because I love them too and I miss them all the time and I wish I could buy them from someone, but we can't because they are hand lettered. Um, okay. I had a ton of meetings this day, so I marked them um, same way up top. And then I also did a, um, like a faro bowl for dinner. The swish underneath is from Bloom Paper Studio. I have a coupon code for her. It is Lauren15. You can also put my name in the notes for my freebie. I also worked really late this night um, and marked that at the bottom as well. Oh, I was going to say for 
um, I oftentimes will film what I'm doing for dinner on my Instagram stories, like whatever I'm cooking. So um, you can, again, always find those um, if I, like if, I don't know what I'm saying. You can find them in my Instagram highlights <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, so moving on to Thursday, marked my meetings again. Uh, we made a grilled salad this night, so I'm taking a grill. I think that grill, I want to say, is from Harriet Wright Designs, if I'm not mistaken. And then, of course, this whole this whole week, I'm just using so much of the floral deco from the kit because I loved it so much. So pretty much everything is layered with floral deco. We also made a an offer on a house this day. Again, story hasn't changed. We've made offers on a million houses, <laughs> or so it feels, going, you know, way over asking price, waving everything we possibly can, and just no success. It has been insanity. Um, whenever I posted that first bit video, people were like, well, have you wrote an offer letter? Like, have you wrote a letter? And stuff? I'm like, people. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> first of all, yes, I am. <laughs> but, it's, like, it's to the point where a lot of like the houses we're bidding on they will straight up say do not include offer letters we do not care <laughs> like we just want all the cash you have <laughs> um anyways okay that was I'll get off my high horse for a second that was, I'm just like looking back on all these spreads when I've been editing them and all the offers we've made I'm like gosh oh my god <laughs> um okay so moving on to uh Friday um we, let's see, we, I marked payday here. Um, we did a kind of like pre-clean. Um, so what that means is, I think I've talked about this before, but I always like to make sure that my house is pretty clean <laughs> before the cleaners come, just as far as like clutter and just making sure everything's kind of put away so that the cleaners can most efficiently do their job. So um, I, if we don't do that earlier in the week on Friday, I just will make sure that like everything is set and ready to go for them. Um, so, and then obviously I'm working the cleaners here with a, um, what is that called? A feather duster from White Deer Stationery. Um, let's see, what else do I have? Um, yeah, this, this Friday was honestly pretty lazy. A lot of times too on Fridays, I, kind of get out of the habit of recording what I do because my functional planner where I write down my plans every day sits at my um like I have a planner desk and I have a working desk and it sits at my working desk and kind of by the end of the day on Friday I am like out of there and not like sitting down to record like what I did on Friday night you know <laughs> so unless it was something pretty notable by like Saturday or Sunday when I'm planning again I, I tend to forget what it is that I did so anyways <laughs> Um, I used a, just most of those stickers that I used for Friday evening were from the kit, except for again, more Sadie stickers deco and that floral, uh, the foiled floral was from Honey Inked. Um, I don't think I mentioned it yet, but I have joined Sadie stickers PR team, which is really exciting. So all of these little banners that you're seeing me lay down all over the place, um, those are on my freebie that you can get from her shop now, which again, super exciting. So, um, my code is Lauren 20. And then if you want my freebie where you can get some of that and some other great stickers that I love, um, you can put my name in the notes. Um, okay. So this was a super busy day, but it was a super like fun day. Actually. I really enjoyed this day. It was the first day of spring. So I marked that with a bunch of florals and butterflies, whatever, all that stuff. And then Steven and I had to take our car in for some like routine maintenance kind of stuff. Um, oil change, all that. So the place we go, the best thing to do is go first thing in the morning, drop it off first thing in the morning, and then it'll be done within a couple hours. And we just like to kind of walk around. It's like right smack in the middle of downtown. So we like to just kind of walk around downtown while, um, while that's, you know, while that's happening. So, um, we went and we walked around some neighborhoods. We took a walk in some neighborhoods, like beautiful neighborhoods of like where the houses are just like probably millions and millions and millions of dollars. <laughs> and we just kind of like walked around like dreaming, like, Oh, someday kind of dreaming, looking at all the beautiful houses that we saw. Um, so that was really nice. I don't know what I'm doing here. Apparently I did not like the 
banners or I needed more. So anyway, so we did that. We walked around after we're dropping the car off and then, oh, so what I'm marking down here, I don't know why I went out of order. <laughs> um, after we picked up the car in the afternoon, we did five home tours this day. So that was a lot, um, a lot, a lot. We were all over the place. So the third box that I'm using is from Crafts by Towie to mark that. Um, okay, sorry, back up to once, you know, after we were walking around, we went to brunch at this restaurant that I had been wanting to try for brunch. I got like a Facebook ad for them and um, for their brunch and I got sucked in. I was like, oh, I want to go. And it was so great. It was so worth it. We had such a good time, had some mimosas after we walked around. It was delightful. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, like I mentioned, we, in the afternoon, we went and did a bunch of home tours. Um, later. So um, all of the icons that I used that were foiled that day were from Crafts by Towie, except for the walking one was from um, my newest addiction. Um, all right, so this day I am marking that um, my sister and Steven's brother were home. I think that one of them actually came home earlier. Uh, oh yeah, my sister came home the day before, but I just marked it on the same day with some stickers from the kit. And then I think that heart is from the Pretty Pink Co. and the little sparkles are from Honey Inked. Um, I marked this day with a planner from the kit. I love that like she has Aura Cell planners in her kit and now I have an Aura Cell planner. <laughs> I love using it. I put that over a sticker from the kit and used another Giving Girl bow to mark that I filmed a haul and a plan with me this day. Very like good about filming this day. I really like spending Sundays that way. And then I also marked that I had coffee out on my patio this day. The weather was really nice this week and like, you know, March, that's kind of when it was starting. So I was definitely soaking up as much sun as I could when the weather was nice. Um, okay. And then moving down here. Oh, so I am taking a paper blush bar sticker um, to mark there was a plans change episode at three. I think this is when they changed it back to Sunday, which I was so grateful for because Sunday afternoons, I tend to not have a lot of plans so I can catch them. Whereas when they were on Saturdays, I couldn't really. So uh, I was happy to mark that. And then I also marked that we had a pizza night at my parents' house. I think this was probably the start of like us doing outdoor pizza nights. My parents have an outdoor pizza oven. I talk about this all the time. Um, we still use it in the winter time um, because we can kind of like, it's so hot. It gets up to like a thousand degrees. You can kind of stand outside and the pizzas only take like two or three minutes in the ovens. So you kind of stand outside while it bakes and then come back in <laughs> with it really fast and you don't freeze. But um, I think this was the first night that we really like entertained outdoors. So that was great. Um, and, you know, having my sister home and all of that. So, okay. Um, I showed you the leftover stickers and then I am putting them into this sticker book here. Um, as always, well, not as always, but with two little bees kits, I tend to have a ton of leftovers um, because I order <laughs> so much um, to get all the different stuff that I like, but there is a lot of stuff that I don't end up using. So whoever gets this kit again, or this sticker book is going to have almost a full size kit for this and tons of leftover floral deco, which is great. So that is everything for that kit. Um, and this is the final kind of finished product. I really like how it turned out. It's kind of busy, but um, I like it. I think it turned out nicely. I was a little unsure about that like watercolor rainbow deal, but I actually don't mind it. I think um, it turned out really springy and was kind of a great way to mark the first week of spring. Um, all right, so that's kind of it for that kit. And I think in a second here, we are going to move over into doing the Easter week. Um, so I am going to, oh, here we go. This is the, the preview of the Easter week. Again, this is a Crafts by Towie kit. Um, so I think I'm going to move back into the questions here while I start to lay down the base for this. Um, so again, more questions from Kitty Kitty 306 She says, will you ever, or they say, will you ever film any vlogs? I don't think so. Definitely not on my YouTube channel. I can't, I don't live an exciting enough life, I don't think, <laughs> for that to be a thing. Um, yeah. And then she also asked, how is your arm healing? I hope it's better. Thank you very much. That's very kind. I think I asked these questions a couple months ago where 
at that point I had broken my arm a couple months before that. It's been now six months since I broke my arm, a little bit, almost seven months since I broke my arm. And it's fine. Um, I can't, I can kind of straight straighten it all the way now but I used to really be able to hyperextend it I can't do that anymore my doctor told me that would be a thing and I still have like some of the muscles are kind of weak so sometimes if I pick something up and carry it it'll hurt <laughs> but the like the muscle not the bone so it's fine all good all better um Katiana plans asked kit collections you'd love to see maybe even ask us um, yeah, so definitely, I would love to know what kit collections you guys would like to see. You know me, I'm always into florals, things that are light, um, pastel, <laughs> and I always like incorporating that, um, into summer. I have a hard time finding lighter kits for summer, I think. Always with pinks too, florals, all that. Um, something that I didn't actually get last year and I'm really hoping to find this year is a good... 4th of July kit. I feel like a lot of the 4th of July artwork is not in my kind of realm of the artwork that I purchase. So if anybody has a good 4th of July kit, I'd love something kind of like maybe Americana-y. Um, I don't know, just something that's like has a lot of florals and is delicate, um, but also 4th of July because I really do like to celebrate that week. Um, so that is something I would love to see. If you have any suggestions, if you've seen a good one, let me know. It has to have deco too. <laughs> um, okay. Plans by Tiffany asked, um, all things wine. Process to create the five daughters wine and which is your favorite? That's a fun question. Um, honestly, my parents and um, their, you know, partners do a lot of it, but I have kind of been a part of every different, like, I haven't done, how do I say this? I've done every step of it just not for every wine, you know? So like I have done blending, I have done bottling, I've done, you know, tasting or whatever. So, um, we buy barrels of wine from, um, a winery that we're like, you know, we have connections to, et cetera. Um, we, we work with them and we kind of do everything at their facility and, um, then we, so you buy like the barrels of like, if you're like, let's say you have a Chardonnay, you buy like um, a regular shard, you buy like one with that's has a lot of malolactic acid in it and like maybe three different kind of barrels of it. And then you sit and you blend it and then you um, taste it again, however many months later to see how it's changed, how it's aged, etc. And then bottle it and then distribute. And that's kind of it. <laughs> um, bottling has been there's kind of different processes to bottling. Normally you can literally get this like truck that comes through that bottles it kind of all for you automatically. During COVID last year, we hand bottled one of our, I think it was one of our cabs. Um, so that was really <laughs> interesting because we couldn't do that whole process with the COVID stuff. So we had to do it kind of like all outdoors, all socially distanced, et cetera. Um, yeah, it's really fun. As far as which one is my favorite, I genuinely like them all. I think because it's, we only, like my parents obviously and our family friends, we only create wines that we kind of like to drink, like as a family. So we have Shards, we have Cab Sauvs, and we have Sauvignon Blancs. Um, and those are the kind of wines that we drink. So like, we don't drink a lot of like, I don't know, what do we not drink a lot of? Like a lot of like Moscatos or whatever. So like, we don't have a Moscato. So I like them all genuinely. <laughs> um, okay. Thanks for that question, Tiffany. That was fun. Um, okay. More questions. Well, let me talk a little bit about the base actually. Ooh, sorry. Um, okay, so for this Easter spread, again, I had a lot of fun with it. This was a kit that I wasn't so sure about when I was purchasing it, but I was like, you know what, it's the best Easter kit that I've seen, and I trust Tao because I love all of her her kits so much, even if it's a little, like, I was a little skeptical. I love it. I love how this turned out. I love, I think something that I really like about the kit, like, obviously lots of pastels and florals and all of that. The Like the distribution of colors ended up really nice for me. I think a big part of that was the florals because the florals had so many colors in them. They had the kind of bright punchy pink that was missing, not missing from the kit, but you know, sometimes, oh, I don't know how to say this. Sometimes you get like these incredible florals that have all this color to them. And then the actual like 
colors that are in kits don't reflect that and that's fine if there's a lot of floral deco that I can use to pull in to like balance out the colors and I really felt like that was the case with this like I, I was able to pull in so much of that like punchier pink and then the greens and whatever and there were so many different um combinations of the florals where I didn't feel like I was repeating them all the time I just really enjoyed working with it so that was super fun um uh, let's see for the sidebar um and like the base that was um a lot just I played with the deco a lot and I really enjoyed that the um lace that was up top is from honey inked I think I really like doing that too I've seen a lot of people do that recently and the date covers were so plain that I thought I'd give it a try I didn't think I'd like it but I actually do um so anyways okay on to the day by day so Monday was a day off for me um that I took so I marked that with um a pan of her design script she has some of my favorite scripts right now um I have a code for her shop too it's down below and a freebie um and then a lot of like adding in honey ink to kind of deco the bows that I used everywhere in this kit were the Harriet Wright designs one um so I marked that I did a like a 30 minute clean again I will just take like a half hour or an hour and I'll have Steven and I just like clean up. <laughs> Sometimes I do it by myself, but I just kind of time it and that'll be like good enough for me, you know, of just like, let's just pick up everything we see. <laughs> Not like, I know some people will be like, I'm going to clean the bathroom today or I'm going to clean the whatever today. No, for me, I just, I don't know. I just like to do it in like a chunk where I just clean everything that I see. Um, I also marked that I edited and posted a haul this day and I marked a call we had with the bank about, you know, home buying loans, blah, 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 boring. And then I also went and got my toes done this day and marked that with um, a nail polish from the kit and some florals. Let me know, obviously, if you have questions about the stickers that I've used in this spread or the last one. I'm going fast, um, so I haven't been able to mark or talk about all of them. On Tuesday, I marked a, another house that we put an offer on. Didn't happen. I think we got close on that one. Maybe within, I don't know. I can't remember. House is from Craft. House is from Crafts by Tally, and then the um, little banner is from Honey Inked. Again, same with all the deco. I marked my meetings the same way every day, which was using the scallops from the deco add-on from the kit, and then the um, like little floral foiled things are from Honey Inked and then I cut up some floral deco from the kit underneath that. I marked filming a segment of a haul this day with um, just some stickers from the kit. I marked painting my nails um, with a Crafts by Towie sticker and I marked um, my coloring book stuff. I've been really into my coloring books right now. I find them to be so relaxing. <laughs> um, sorry, I'm flipping to this into this week here yeah I think I just colored I don't know um but I've been really really enjoying doing that lately so you're gonna start to see a lot of that um in here and then I used again just cut up some deco I love the third boxes in her kits now and the cup is also from Crafts by Towie I like Crafts by Towie kits I think when I use them because I love using her icons with it like between the white or stationary icons the icons that come with the add-on deco sheet and the icons that come in her kit I just find that my spreads with her stickers look so cohesive because I'm able to like pull all those things together really well um and sh her kits are just like my probably my favorite kits format just the style of the stickers in her kit are oh so good so so good <laughs> um okay so on Wednesday, I marked I had four meetings. This was a crazy day. We didn't get the house, um, obviously, that we put an offer on on Tuesday. And we so we put an offer on another house this day. I really wanted this house. And we got so close with this house. So close. <laughs> um, so I, it turned into a whole thing. My real estate agent didn't want us to get this one because it had a lot of foundational issues. Um, but it was like exactly where we wanted to be. So we were kind of like, okay, well, we can just know that we're going to have to fix these over time and it's going to be really expensive. But like, no matter what, everything is really expensive right now. So that's a risk. Like it's a known risk that we're willing to take. You know what I mean? So we really wanted this one. But um, anyway, so I marked that we had like, again, four meetings, which for myself, Stephen had a ton of meetings. 
we also had calls with uh, my dad and my real estate agent this day trying to figure out like just what exactly was wrong with the house, how much it would realistically cost, blah, blah, blah. It was just a crazy day. My mom also got her second vaccine that day, which I was so excited about, excited for. She is the person that I have been wanting to be fully vaccinated the most, and I could kind of breathe a sigh of relief um, knowing that she had her second vaccine that day. And then I also marked that in the evening, Stephen and I took a walk. We went to, I don't know how to say it, if it's Sahe or Sage. I get a lot of my essential oil sprays there. Um, so we went there and we also walked to the grocery store, picked up some like fresh produce and shrimp and stuff. And I made incredible shrimp tacos this night. They were really good. All right. Were they shrimp tacos? Oh no, shrimp bowls. I'm reading. They were really good. Anyways. Okay. So that was Wednesday. Moving on to Thursday. Um, I marked my, I only had one meeting that day. Um, so I marked that with, um, you know, same way I had. I marked Hello April this day um, with that script is from uh, My Newest Addiction. And then I marked, I had a laser appointment this day. I was going to mark walking there. So you saw I pulled up the thing because I wrote laser appointment but put the shoe down. <laughs> um, but I'm putting the shoe down here instead to mark that Stephen and I walked the trails this day. Um, normally when we walk, we walk around downtown or we walk in neighborhoods because I find that a lot more entertaining to walk like and look at window shop or like have a destination like walking to the grocery store or something like that. Um, but we did just walk the trails this evening um, to switch it up a little bit. And then on our way back, this was actually a really exhausting day too. I didn't write any of this down. Um, in my planner because I didn't have a lot of room, but this was another exhausting day. We count, this was the first time we ever got to the counter offer phase on a house. So we did a counter offer um, for that, that house um, that day. And again, we were on the phone all day with a real estate agent, my dad and all that stuff. I just didn't write it down. Um, but anyways, I was exhausted by the end of the day, so I didn't want to cook. So we went and got Burmese takeout, which um, I love Burmese tea leaf salads. That was really delicious. I had like a samosa one. So good. Um, and I cut up a washi strip from the kit, layered a Crafts by Towie um, scalloped box over it. That one's not from the kit. And then her utensils to mark that. So anyways, crazy day. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, it was a good day though. We didn't get the house. We found out that day we didn't get it. But again, that was the, I think the closest we actually got to like even getting into a second round of offers, which I think has been pretty rare around here to even have a second round of offers because the initial offers are so high over whatever people are asking for in the first place. Um, okay, so moving on to Friday, I marked I had one call that this day. Um, I used a lot of stickers from the kit to mark that. Um, the post-its, I think, are so cute to mark stuff like that from the kit. This was also the day that I was offered um, CD Stickers PR team, so that was really exciting. Um, I marked that with a planner, my little Aura Estelle from the kit. Again, love that I can use the Aura Estelle and a third box and some deco. I really like how that turned out for whatever reason. I also marked um, with a to-do script or arrow from the kit that I had to send out some, you know, it's, it's something that I do for work that I have to do every month or so that um, is a huge deal. <laughs> so I marked that. It's super time consuming. I don't normally mark work tasks, but I don't know why that's one that I do just because it's like such a, a big deal kind of a thing and it takes up so much of my day. Um, I'm cutting up some deco to put at the bottom of the, just to kind of like finish off the bottom of the column. I don't think I mentioned this yet, but all of those, um, little, I'm using like a divider at the bottom of each column. Um, those are from Sadie stickers. Um, again, PR code, blah, 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 you know now. <laughs> um, and then I marked or I put some honey inked uh, vines to take up some space there. And I marked um, that Stephen and I built, well, I marked building furniture, but really Stephen and I were like replacing a segment of our couch. I, we bought this beautiful couch um, when we moved into this place. I love it. It is so pretty. It's comfortable. I really like it, but two of the segments broke already and it was not cheap. So they were really nice and they sent us the piece, like the segment that broke brand new, um, but we had to like re kind of build it. So that's what we spent that night doing. Um, okay. And then 
what I am doing here, um, there were two like uh, tulip bouquets, I think. Are they tulips? No, like peony bouquets that came with the kit and I used them both earlier in the week. But um, I realized that on Saturday, Stephen was really sweet and he um, got up and made me coffee and went and bought me flowers, which was really nice. So I wanted to use one of the bouquets to mark that, obviously, because like, duh. Um, and then the coffee cup from the kit. So I stole it from where I marked posting a haul earlier that week and replaced it with some other deco from the kit. So that way I could use that sticker here. I also marked that I filmed this day. Planner was from the deco sheet and then that little butterfly flag. Um, super cute. And then of course, what do I mark but more home tours? <laughs> it has been so consuming. We took a little break for a while, but literally I just felt like it was all we were doing for a while. I think we had three or four of them this day. There wasn't a lot on the market this week because of Easter, I think, but we did go see a couple. Um, so again, ha the house is from Crafts by Tawi, and then she has those like little fancy boxes with the florals in her kit that I love so much. Um, so I used the last one there. And then putting down the full box at the bottom here. Um, all good, I think. And then, oh, also, I don't think I've mentioned that yet. The bows that I used, the headers in her kit, one set of the headers in her kit aren't foiled. So those bows that I used to, um, to foil them are from Harriet Wright Designs as well. Um, okay, so here I love the combo of this yellow full box and then the colors of that like those peonies and I don't know I think the color combo looks really nice there so um, I marked painting my nails this day um, I think I actually did that in the morning before I filmed so a little out of order there but um, yeah some I cut up some deco from the kit and then again like always for most of the stickers here Crafts by Tally sticker um, I marked that we had dinner at Stephen's parents house one of the houses that we looked at this day was super close to his parents house so instead of going home after we just went straight over to his parents house and had dinner with them their garden has been beautiful and um we've been getting a lot of like farm fresh stuff like whenever we go to dinner there it's very like right from their garden so that's been really enjoyable aside of course from spending time with them which we love um okay so Sunday was Easter I marked it with a fancy box from Sweet Bella XOXO I took a whole floral didn't even cut it up <laughs> and um decorated that as well as more honey ink stickers and vines I put the um I put down the uh, full box here and then I marked um, that we had brunch at my aunt's house. It felt so good to do this. Um, most people that were there, I mean it was just my aunt and my family and that was kind of it. One of my other cousins and her dad came for a couple minutes at the very end but we were all like outdoors very far away from each other, masks, all that, you know, so super safe but all of the everyone who's older was vaccinated and um yeah so super safe but it just felt so good to be able to like do that again be with people like that again it was the first time my family's really done that I feel like in a while and it's a tradition we've missed so much because my family we're just such family oriented people and it felt so good really to like dress up and go to brunch and have a beautiful brunch it was beautiful it was absolutely beautiful um, so really enjoyed that. Um, went home for like a little bit in the afternoon, an hour or two. I was able to catch, I think most of the plans change episode there. And then in the afternoon, evening, we went over to Steven's parents' house and did the rest of dinner there. Um, they're so funny. Like they, his parents put on an Easter egg hunt for Steven and I, uh, I'm about to be 29 and it was literally just us. <laughs> so so sweet so cute last year they did a virtual one where we were like on zoom with his brother and my sister-in-law and he steven's dad hid the eggs and his mom dressed up like the easter bunny and we had to like virtually direct her on the house to find eggs like take turns over zoom literally hilarious <laughs> so funny um anyways okay this is the spread I again I love how it turned out I think it is one of my favorites like really really enjoyed this one had so much fun playing with this kit and just loved it so 
Um, that's pretty much it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the double plan with me. Thanks for sticking around this whole time. If you did, um, this is a long video, a lot of me rambling all in one take. <laughs> so, uh, I definitely appreciate that. As always, you can find all of the coupon codes that I have for all of these shops that I've mentioned down below. So definitely check there. Um, and, um, I will also make sure to tag Crafts by Tally and Two Little Bees there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.